Hey guys, I'm Joe, you're watching Theo Joe Tech, and in this video, I'm gonna go over what I think are the top five tech trends to watch in 2016. I think we're gonna see a lot of progress in these areas, and I'm really excited to see what we're gonna see, especially at CES in 2016 in January, which I'll be at, so we'll see what kind of new technology is coming out. So let's get started, and I'll go over the top five. Number five is drones. Now we've obviously heard a lot of talk about drones. Amazon is starting to kind of test delivery drones and I think 2016 is really gonna be the year where we might see some of the first uses of drones in significant quantities and frequency by Amazon. I also think we're gonna see more talk about laws, specifically by the FDA, because drones are becoming much more popular than I thought they would be. They're, they're kind of becoming more household toys that a lot of people know about. Most everyone has heard about drones nowadays, so I think 2016 is really gonna be the year that they become somewhat common for people to own, and there are gonna to have to be laws about that, and there's gonna be a lot more talk about them as well. Number four is wearables. Now, wearables, I think, have been trying to break into the tech scene for a long time. You have the Apple Watch, you have a lot of different smart watches, you had Google Glass, which was a failure. But I think 2016, we might see wearables becoming more popular. I'm getting a lot of emails about CES for you know new wearable technologies. And I think if we can get beyond just the watches, and you know Fitbit type wearables. I think we do have a place for wearables to expand in 2016 and maybe not necessarily glasses type things like Google Glass, but maybe some other technologies that we haven't heard of. I think wearables are going to be the future and 2016 might be the time where we see some more types of wearables beyond just the typical watch that hasn't really seemed to take off yet. So it'll be interesting to see if 2016 brings out some wearables that a large number of people actually use commonly. Number three is one I don't think a lot of people have been talking about. These are HDR TVs. Obviously the big thing in the previous years was 4K and even for monitors you had high refresh rates but I don't really think that many people have even thought about high dynamic range TVs. Dolby in the past year has been talking about their technology called Dolby Vision HDR. I made a video about this that I can link below or at the end. And basically they are making a new technology standard for high dynamic range. If you're not familiar, I'll give a, a quick rundown. Basically TVs now use a standard that only has 100 different levels of brightness, which is zero, basically zero to 100. However, the new Dolby Vision standard allows brightnesses from zero or about zero to 10,000. So you can imagine if you're looking at a room just around here, there's obviously more than 100 levels of brightness. So if a TV has a much higher dynamic range, it's gonna make it look much more realistic. And I think a lot of new manufacturers are starting to kind of get into this high dynamic range market and I think CES that's going to be a big topic for TV manufacturers because we already had the refresh rate we already had the resolution HDR is going to be the next thing I'm hoping but we'll have to see that's why it's going to be something to watch and definitely something that I think will take hold eventually number two we're talking about computer monitors I think we're going to see a lot more 4k monitors and they may even become commonplace in 2016 you know, we have 4K monitors right now, but they're typically pretty expensive, at least for the good ones. And also on the side, we on the other end, we have high refresh rate monitors up to 144 hertz. But I think we're gonna start to see much higher quality 4K monitors, even possibly high refresh rate 4K monitors, the best of both worlds in 2016. They might be pretty expensive in the beginning, obviously. Maybe towards the end of 2016, they might even be relatively affordable, but I think it's definitely something to watch. AMD has announced that they will be supporting DisplayPort 1.3 in their GPUs for 2016, which does support 4K resolution at high refresh rates. Right now, DisplayPort 1.2, which is the one that pretty much everyone uses, does not. It only supports 4K at 60 hertz, but if GPU manufacturers start using 1.3, then we will almost definitely see high refresh rate 4K monitors to follow, and it's only a matter of time before they become actually affordable. So that's definitely something 
we're going to want to keep an eye on in 2016 and I'm really excited about that because right now I only see 2560 by 1440 monitors up to 144 hertz which is great but 4k is the next level and finally number one I think some of you probably were able to predict this but virtual reality I honestly think virtual reality is going to be the biggest thing to happen in tech in a very long time in 2016 we're having all big three virtual reality headsets released we have the Vive by HTC and Valve we have Project Morpheus by PlayStation and then of course the Oculus Rift I've been a big fan of virtual reality ever since I got the Oculus DK2 and I tried Project Morpheus as well and it was awesome have not tried the Vive yet that's the only one I haven't tried but everyone I have heard from says it's absolutely amazing especially with the hand controller so I think virtual reality is one of those things where you have to try it to realize how amazing it is and I think once it's released into the market it's gonna blow some people's minds and I think it's just gonna spread from there everyone who gets it is gonna tell all their friends about how cool it is and I think 2016 is gonna be the year of virtual reality not to forget about HoloLens not really virtual reality but I'm gonna put it in the same number one thing HoloLens is augmented reality I think they're gonna release the dev kit for HoloLens in early 2016 and then by the end of 2016 we might see the final version of HoloLens that's total speculation but I think all this augmented reality virtual reality is going to change a lot of things and it's going to be a huge step forward especially with high resolution panels for gaming for watching TV all sorts of stuff keep an eye on virtual reality I don't think that's a opinion that I'm the only one that holds that so I'm really excited about it. And those are just my top five, what I think are going to be the big tech trends. And I might have missed some, you know, something might just come out of left field that we have no idea about. But if you guys have any other ideas about something I missed, something I completely missed maybe, leave it in the comments section below and we can talk about all that down there and also about the stuff that I did mention. If you guys liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know you guys enjoyed it. And if you want to check out some other videos, I'll put those on the right hand side. You can just click those or look in the description for the same link, like if you're on a phone. And if you want to subscribe, I make new videos three times a week, so I think it should be worth it. I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys either in the comments section below or on Twitter. So thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Have a good one.